Okay, so the other day on Instagram, I posted a picture of a couple of hubs. And on those hubs, uh, some people were like, oh, yeah, well, that's got to be for the Mac. And there it is, and, but it's not that. And then yesterday or today's video, I said that I was going to pick up two new pieces of equipment. And you said tethers or rakes or things like that. Well, I don't use a tether anymore. No need for it. But what I did purchase is long and black. Actually, not really. I bought two new running gears for the uh, hay wagons because the hay that comes off the crone, those bales are packed between four and 500 pounds heavier uh, coming right off the back of that baler than the old baler. And to put 27 bales on that one wagon and 24 on the other, that's an awful lot of weight. So I decided to step up to this massive thing. It's a 10 bolt hub uh, 24 foot reaches get some nice pins that go in here I don't like these uh, Cody was tightening one up when he was putting it together and snapped it off so I decided to go ahead and put those in I do have a little bit of an issue with the manufacturer of this thing uh, and that is the grease zerks uh, they had these knock in grease zerks and whoever knocked them in knocked the ends of them and they won't take grease so, Messix, the fine folks at Messix are going to come out and they're actually going to replace those grease zerks with the ones that are actually going to work. Cody just came in with the hay rake. He's been raking all afternoon and I'm getting ready to go bail. So, before I put those wagon bodies on these awesome heavy running gears, I actually have to, I mean, look at the size of those axles. They're four and a half inches. Those axles are four and a half inches thick. Um, yeah, before I go ahead and put the bodies on, Messix is going to go ahead and uh, put that together. So these actually have a swivel front end, and everything is on bearings. These are heavy bushings here, um, but they're shock absorbers, and it actually tilts. So if you see my fat ass get on here, maybe. I don't know. Timothy's heavier than me. He got it to move. <laughs> um, nice thing here is Dad's going to be getting on and off of it, and there's got this double spring assist. Can you believe that? One pinky. So that's always a nice feature on there. It's 125 bucks a piece for those things. But as you can see, there's just grease. Grease there, just squishing out where it shouldn't squish out. And So anyways, they're going to come out and redo all of them. They're metric, that's why they have to do it. So, and it's not just one gear, it's actually both gears. And that's just long and the short of it. So sometime... This coming week, uh, they're going to come out. There's a couple of things that they need to do to the crone baler. The, uh, uh, there's a couple of grease lines that need to be moved. Not that I have any knowledge of a problem, just that there's a recall. So there's some parts that need to be, uh, or they call it an update, not a recall. But they're coming in to, yeah, they're going to come in and they're going to replace that grease line. And they're going to do these grease zerks. And I did have an issue with the Y connector to the scale, so my scale is not working right now. And they're supposed to send that, but I guess they're just going to bring it right along with them when they come. And it will be put on all at once. So, anyhow, uh, that's just that. That's it. That's it for today. I'm really tired. The heat has gotten to me. I think it's like 4,000 degrees. Cody just came in, and I believe, would you have air conditioning? Kind of, kind of, sort of. I'm having trouble with the air conditioner on a 4450, so I'm going to have to get a new pump. It's leaking out the back or the compressor. Somebody will correct me. It's not a pump. It's a compressor. Well, let's call it a compressor pump, and we'll all get along, right? Rodney King, can't we all just get along? Yeah. Most of you young guys don't even know who Rodney King is, but you can look him up and Google his ass, and you'll know he's dead right now. He won't be coming back, but he is dead. He could come back, you never know. You know, his Black Lives Matter bullshit, they might just resurrect his ass. Anyways, Google Rodney King. <laughs>